Hey, what's up, guys? Pete here. Recently on Cop Lock, I put a post up about a man named Phil Christiana who works for the FBI, who'd been kind of snooping around the Liberty Oriented community here in the Shire and specifically in Keene. Um, most recently, he asked a friend, Rich Paul, to wear a wire when he uh, patroned an establishment where some uh, Liberty Oriented folks hang out. And um, my message in that video, as well as a follow-up call that I made to Christiana, was essentially to uh, cease and desist, to move on, that there's nothing of interest for him here, that the people that he was uh, looking into uh, all advocate the non-aggression principle, which is, uh, you know, people should be free to act as long as they don't uh, initiate force or fraud, uh, violating someone's rights or their property, things like that. So anyway, just uh, hoped that would help encourage him to move on. Uh, he called me twice, uh, went straight to my Google voice number. So I, I didn't pick up the first time. He didn't leave a message. The second time he left a message encouraging, encouraging me to call. I also recently learned that somebody else who had called Phil, uh, received a call back from him and he inquired if he knew of a way to get in touch with me. So, um, today I, I called Phil back. I recorded the conversation and wanted to essentially just share all these calls to, because I believe in transparency. And um, I guess I'd ask you to, to question what does it show if, if one party is unwilling to meet and have their uh, conversation be recorded, especially if they're a public official who purports to protect and serve and who claims to uh, care about uh, you know people's rights and things like that. So anyway, I'll just I'll uh, shut up now and let you guys watch and listen to these conversations. Thanks. All right, right now it's uh, Thursday, May 31st, 7:48 p.m. I am going to call a number I have for Phil Christiana. It's 603-365-8098, and I, I'm being Pete Air, uh, I'm going to call it right now. Let's see if it's still active. Hey Phil, my name is Pete Ayer. I want to let you know I'm recording this call for my records. Uh, I got your number off a forum post from uh, some time ago. wanted to get in touch with you because uh, it's been brought to my attention that you've made contact with some acquaintances of mine in the Keene area, and I just wanted to, uh, I guess, reinforce what they have already told you, that uh, they, uh, other folks in the community, the, the Keene area, that... Uh, loosely affiliate with um, some of the liberty ordered stuff going on are all peaceful oriented there are no uh, violent tendencies there's no an, uh, advocacy of violent tactics so I want to encourage you to uh, cease and desist the harassment and uh, engagement of uh, people in the Keene area on this front I just put a video up you're welcome to watch it it expands a little bit more in my views. It's at copblock.org. Um, and I guess that's all. I wish you the best, and I hope you think about your actions. I hope you'll quit your job. Thanks. Yeah, this, this is uh, Phil Christian. I'm trying to get all the Pete air. You could ask Pete to call me on my cell phone. He has the number, but I'll give it to you uh, just in case. It's uh, 603-365-8098, and uh, you'd ask Pete to call me. Appreciate it. It's Tuesday, June 5th, about 1.20 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Pete Ayer, and I am uh, returning Phil Christiana's call. He's twice called and asked that I return his call, so we'll see what's up. Hey, 
Hey, Phil, this is Pete Ayer. I want to let you know I'm recording this call, but I just wanted to give you a call back. I know you've uh, tried to reach out to me a couple times. Uh, I have, Pete. I appreciate you returning my phone call. Uh, but, um, hey, um, I was wondering if you'd be willing to meet, sit down and talk to me. Um, I guess I'd have a couple questions. One, I'd be uh, interested to know kind of the rationale, the, the motivation for your wanting to have a conversation, and then... Secondly, I would also want to just make clear that if we did meet, I would, um, as Dave Ridley sort of expressed to you when you um, extended to him a similar request, my intention would be, uh, or I would definitely want to uh, record the, the conversation just for my records. No, well, that, no, I'm not interested in doing that, I'll be honest with you. Okay. All right, I mean, you know, if, if you're going to, if you know, um, I would like to sit down with you and I'll, I'd like to explain to you um, what some of my concerns are and, and, and why why they are concerns of mine, but I'm not interested in doing it on videotape. It would just have to be between you and I um, to sit down and um, talk about it like, like gentlemen, but I'm not interested in doing it, you know, in front of a video camera. Okay, well, yeah, it doesn't have to be, I mean, like right now, this is audio recorded. It doesn't have to be video recorded. It could just be a, a simple audio recorder put on the middle of the table. We could just have a conversation. I mean, I have nothing to hide, and I, I'm willing yeah. to share my thoughts with you as with everybody else who has an internet connection. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, 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 I'll tell you why I won't do that is just because um, I'm not allowed to record you and, you know, keep, I mean, I, I, I know what you guys are going to do with it. Uh, I know it's going to end up on the internet, every bit of it, and I'm just not looking looking for that. You know what I mean? I mean, if, if you want to, if you want to go on the internet and talk about, you know, you know, you know, what you and I discuss, and you want to, you know, recollect it and talk about it, that's fine. I don't have any issues with that, but I really don't care to have my voice recorded but on the internet. Okay, so, I, um, I just clarify, it wouldn't be you guys. If, it, if I were to meet you, it would, it would be me and myself. It's nobody else's actions, and, um, but, you know, I mean, it is your choice. If you don't, if you don't care to meet under those sort of stipulations, I guess, then that's, I guess, we probably won't have a, have a conversation then, but... Um, okay. Well, that's a, that's a shame because I, I do have a lot to explain to you, and I think you would I think you would have a much better appreciation for what um, my what I'm trying to accomplish if you sat down with me. You know, um, you know, you obviously drew a lot of a lot of conclusions and, and put that on that video on on your website, um, and I can't tell you how wrong some of those conclusions are. Um, but I, you know, and, and I'd like the opportunity to. Um, to kind of, you know, if you will, um, correct the record there. But um, um, I'll tell you what, um, you know, we don't have to make a final decision today. You know, think about it a little bit. Um, you know, you know, you know, we would have to agree on, on where and when, um, you know, and, um, and, then, and then agree that, you know, basically how it's going to be conducted. So um, I, I'll, I'll certainly reach back to you, you know, and, um, you know, if you know if your position on the whole matter changes, you know, reach back out to me. But it, it doesn't make any sense for me to sit down with you if you're going to record it. Um, it just doesn't. It's almost like me adding fuel to the fire, and I really don't don't intend to do that. Um, you know, so um, take some time, to think about it, and I'll reach back to you. And you know, if if your position changes, maybe we can sit down and talk. Yeah, I mean, I I can't for sure say what what I'll do or not do in the future, except that I have a strong, um, you know, I definitely put an emphasis on transparency. And again, like if if I feel confident in my actions in front of one person, I should be fine doing it in front of ten or a hundred million people. So that's essentially. Let me ask you this though, right? Sure. How would you How would you feel about it if I recorded it? I, I, you're fine. That's fine. If you want to record it, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I, if yeah. I can record, you can right. record. It's not a big deal. Okay. All right. Well, but but I can't. All well, right. you have my. You would have my permission to record if, you know. Yeah. And well, I, but I'm not interested. I mean, I mean, you know, I'll be honest with you. You know, um, well, let's, you know, let's let's just agree to disagree right now, and then you know maybe 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 things will change down the road. Pete. All right. I, you know, um, a, but, um, but, um, you know, um, I, I, I think honestly, after sitting down and talking, I think you realize that, um, you know, 
I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the devil that you're making me out to be. No, I'm not. I never said you're. I never said you're a devil. I don't think you're a devil. I think you know. Perhaps you're a good, a decent guy, and you're led by good intentions, and you want to help. You know, protect people and property, and that's my end goal as well. I respect people and their and their property, but you know, just the incentives. I was trying to make clear in the video. The incentives is the issue, and right now, you, you and not. You and other other people who work in law enforcement agencies, you know, they first steal money from people with, uh, with the justification that they're then going to protect their rights. So uh, to me, that right off the bat creates a double standard. And then, um, you know, so, so, so I'm, I'm stealing money from people. How, how am I stealing money from? Well, your your salary is based on taxpayer money. It's based on money that yeah, other people yeah, have productively yeah, productively yeah, created. Yeah, and, 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 and let me remind you, I'm here to protect you as well as everyone else. All right. I mean, well, so, I didn't. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to get into this big debate with you, but you know, I, 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 defend life and property just the way you said. All right. So, um, you know, there's, there's no conspiracy here. There's no nonsense here. Right. Despite what, what you may think or say. Uh, it's not right? a conspiracy. But, it's a fact. Yeah, it's a fact. Okay. I, I try to protect myself. I've governed myself. I try to. If I see a wrong, I'll try to right it. But I do it through consensual interactions. I don't do it through. You know the the or else threat of a barrel of a gun if if people don't pay your salary. Uh, well, I mean, there's there's no barrel of a gun here, Pete. I can assure you. All right. So, um, all right. Well, like I said, take some time to think about it. You know, and if your position changes and you're interested in hearing more, maybe being a little a little more you know informed um, on, on on what I'm trying to accomplish and why I'm trying to accomplish it, then then we'll sit down and talk about it. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Right. Yep. Have a good day. Bye-bye.